Hello from Bright Lights at Holmes Elementary this summer. We're sitting here with Rita McClure, who has just concluded her 20th year with Bright Lights and Sad for Bright Lights is retiring. So we just wanna spend a few minutes here talking about Rita and her experiences. So Rita, first of all, will you tell us, how did you get involved with Bright Lights 20 years ago? I was working for Lincoln Public Schools over at Human Elementary when a, an emergency happened and it was a grandfather coming in to pick up his uh, granddaughter for Bright Lights. And so uh, it was, uh, that was my first experience meeting Kathy Hanrath and uh, Barb Hoppy. And they gave me a tour of the program, the Japanese children were there, and I just um, didn't think anything of it until I was working here at Holmes Elementary one day and the art teacher, Barb McCallum High Street, popped in, leaned over my desk and said, Rita, you'd be a good fit for Bright Lights. And this is what I'm gonna ask you, would you like to work for Bright Lights? And that's, and so it's 20 years later and I'm still here. <laughs>
that um, they correspond and she is going to be here for my granddaughter's birthday on the 16th of July this Friday. So Bright Lights extends internationally, nationally. I mean just you make friendships everywhere. So that is what Bright Lights, that's a, a memory that I'll never forget. Rita, would you share with us, what is your wish for Bright Lights? Well, I have one wish that I wanna share with everyone in Bright Lights, and I'm going to tell you now how I wish. Starlight, star bright, this is what I wish for Bright Lights. Teachers and students come to Bright Lights from afar. They are truly shining stars. The Orange Team family is here to assist, making sure every camper receives their magical wish. Children run, they walk. The faces show excitement and joy as they shout, oh boy. Bright Lights is truly a summer learning adventure. We are here to learn and have fun. I want to see this for many more years to come. And thank you, Bright Lights. Well, Rita, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure and an honor to work with you over these last 20 years. We wish you the well, wish you well in whatever adventures you uh, pursue the rest of your life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello from Bright Lights. We are sitting at Holmes Elementary where we're just finishing up summer 2021. And I'm here with Tracy Anderson, who is one of our Bright Lights nurses. We're going to visit here with Tracy about a few things she's experienced recently. Tracy, my first question for you is, how did you get involved with Bright Lights? Well, I was contacted by Lori Paulson. Um, her daughter had gone all through elementary school in my building. And uh, so she knew of me that way. And uh, when she heard that Rita was possibly going to be retiring this year, the other nurse, she gave me a call and she said, say, what would you think about coming and working for us at Bright Lights? And so I said, well, that's something maybe I should, I should think about. And so that's how, we, how I ended up here. Would you tell us how your first summer with Bright Lights has gone? Well, I find it was very exciting um, to have the kids come in like they do the first day. They're all so shy and they just don't know where they want to go and who they want to talk to and all those kinds of things. But by the end of the week or even the middle of the week, they're starting to get so much more secure in what they're doing. And they will stop by and they'll tell, say, you know what I'm doing in my class today? Or they'll have you come by and say, if you got time, can you walk by my class and see what we're doing in our classes today? So just the change from the beginning of the week to the end of the week has really been something. Would you please share with us the best support or advice that Rita has given to you this summer? Well, Rita has told me many things, but one of the things that she has told me about is how this is some place that you want to come every year. It's not some place that you have to go to. And you know, you you uh, make so many memories here and there are things that stay with you for many, many years and that every year is new and exciting and that it will be something that you will be able to tell your grandchildren or anybody that asks you about bright lights and how it's not just the students that learn here. We all learn and grow with all the different programs that are available. And so it's, it, it is a new experience every year is what I was told. And I, I believe it from just what I could see. Great, Tracy, thank you for spending some time with us uh, this summer. And we look forward to many more summers with you. <music>